everybody, welcome back to another lit video. If you guys are having a great day out there. So today we are back with another series of YouTube drama discussing all the juicy, you know, tea, the hot spilling tea out there on the web. And we have a lot of stuff to talk about today. Before we get to that, please, if you are brand new to the channel, drop a big thumbs up, share and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Without further ado, let's hop right into the drama. So first up, we are half, I mean, I'm sorry, but it has to start with this one, guys. It is one of the biggest YouTubers in the world. Yes, I said the world, that is correct. And he goes by no other than Danny <clears throat> Duncan. And this guy is huge. You know, all his videos gets millions and millions of views. He does all kinds of crazy stunts, you know, skits, things like that. <sighs> but my attention that my sources have relayed to me that one of his former friends slash colleagues you know someone that was in his group his little squad Aaron is now coming out and accusing Danny of abuse yes I said that right he is claiming that Danny has been abusing him all this time and it is actually a lot darker than we think it is here's where Aaron had to say he said I can move in there so me some other friends moved in there and that's when things got a little weird because things started happening that I feel like I was not in control of that's when things get serious when it's based in ones and you know he was sort of like wrestling like, you know like how we started wrestling kind of um, in, in one of the wrestling I'm, I'm I'm on the ground and he has me and next thing you know he starts just punching at me out of nowhere out of I'm like, at this point, I'm like, what is going on? And I was so shocked. All, all I felt was, a, all I saw was a big flash, like a big light. And he's just punching at me twice. He's just like, bam, bam. Now, I'm going to admit, when I first heard this story, I thought it was pretty crazy because I, I've just never seen Danny do anything like this. I don't think any of us have. But for one of his close friends to come out and say all these allegations, it, it is pretty serious and scary at the same time. I got it. It just makes me sick talking about this. When I was in the bathroom, I asked him for a favor, next thing you know, he put a knife right to my throat. He put a knife right to my throat. Um, I was very confused right there. I was scared. I was scared for my life right there. But I didn't think he was actually gonna like, stab me. Which he didn't stab me. But I thought I thought it was a chance he was gonna stab me and I was scared. Like I wasn't like I'm not like a wussy or whatever. But I wasn't gonna fight back. I'm I that'd be stupid of, of me. First of all, it was his house. Second of all, he is stronger than me. He, if I did anything, he would have stabbed me. So I just sat there, you know, let him, let him do what he wanted to do to me, and just left it alone. No one cared after I brought this out to them. No one cared. It is pretty sad. It's pretty crazy to hear if this is true. Um, and obviously, you know, Danny has not yet come out and spoke on this regarding this topic yet. I'm sure he'll make a statement. I mean, he's still uploading videos. He's still posting on social media, but he has not discussed this controversy quite yet. So I mean, I, we're, we're pretty much just waiting to hear what he has to say and you know, probably share his side of the story. You guys just showered, had a big day today. Aaron's holding us up. Aaron, hurry up. All right, dude. How much longer are you gonna be, dude? Uh, five minutes. Dude, I don't have time for that. Uh, dude, all right, dude. Hurry up. Dude, put soap on then. I am, dude. Oh my god, man. Dude. Aaron, hurry Come up. On, dude. Hurry up. We don't have time for games, bro. I'm not gonna lie, that last video is pretty scary. I mean, especially if that's kind of like a hint to what was going on behind the the cameras and behind the scenes or anything. It, it definitely hurts me that like everyone else would stand by and not help out. Um, I guess they just kind of look their way and hope it's not them next or I don't know guys I mean, it's a pretty crazy story um, to say the least one of the biggest youtubers is getting accused of this after years and years of being on the internet um, It's pretty sad. It's pretty crazy. This video has blown up and gone viral since like I said, it's still a one-sided story. I don't want to jump to conclusions quite yet. Um, this is just one person's side. I do want to wait to hear what Danny Duncan has the same response to this. And you know, once we gather all the evidence from each side, we can kind of, you know, put together and you know, see what really happened and go from there. 
we have no other than the Playboy wannabe himself, Bryce Hall. He is striking out yet again, this time with Trisha Brooks. The two were spotted hanging out not too long ago in LA, and well, he tried to get a little too close for her and she did not like it. Check it out. Man, Bryce is he just can't seem to catch a break. I mean, he's striking out in the ring, and now, well, he's also striking out the ladies. It sucks to suck, bro. And now, well, we're on to our last story, and this one is definitely the creepiest, to say the least. We have, are you ready for this? A senior vice president at PSN PlayStation Network who is in a ton of hot water for supposedly, I'm not gonna say supposedly, he definitely did. He went online to contact a 15 year old kid to invite him over to, what, play Monopoly, play games, have a sleepover? I do not know. Well, luckily a pedophile online group was there to intercept the messages and he was actually messaging them the whole entire time. And well, when they showed up to his house, he did not seem too happy at all. Take a look at this video. Who you out here to meet tonight, Jeff? Jeff, we can have a conversation or I can call the cops, Jeff. Jeff, I can, I can call the cops or we can have a conversation. No. You want it? Jeff, you want to have a conversation? Jeff, I got your face on video, you scumbag. You want me to call the cops? Alright, I'll call the cops. You invited over a 15 year old kid tonight to have. Excuse me, everybody! This guy invited over a 15 year old boy to have s with him tonight! You want me to get louder? You want to have a conversation? May I know the purpose of your visit? Hey, you want, to get, you want me to get louder? You want to have a conversation? Alright, you want me to get loud? Excuse me, everybody! This guy invited over a 15 year old boy to have s with him tonight. You can see how fast he ran back into his house and slammed the door on them. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna stop there. I'm, I'm waiting to see what you know PlayStation has to say about this. This guy will probably lose his job. Um, I'm sure he might be also facing criminal charges as well. And he just, uh, he's not in a good situation. And it serves him right. Why are you trying to contact 15 year old people online? You know, kids, that's, that's pretty sick, bro. That's sick, Jeff. Like, you need help, man. You need serious help. I'm Chris Hansen. No, you're not. I'm Chris Hansen. No, you're not. <laughs> but I am Chris Hansen of Dateline NBC. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of YouTube Drama. I hope you did enjoy these juicy stories. And if you want to see more of them like it, please comment down below. What else do you want to see me talk about as well? Please also leave your opinions on these three stories. The Danny Duncan abuse allegations, Bryce Hall striking out once again, and well, Jeff is trying to hang out with kids. I mean, that's pretty sick, bro. Uh, that's sick, Jeff. Get help. Don't forget to share and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Drop a big thumbs up if you enjoy this and want to see more of them like it. And until next time, guys.